वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू अटैक ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स इन प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर 1.1 लेट्स बिगिन हियर इज प्रैक्टिस सेट 1.1 एंड दिस इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 नाउ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज रिटन इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो व्हाट आई विल डू फर्स्ट इज आई विल कन्वर्ट दिस इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रॉब्लम into the language of geometry because once i do that uske baad uh, i can start thinking in geometry terms and i think it will help me in solving the problem so let me do that first so here is the problem in both the language so let me complete the markings first so this is triangle abc triangle d e f now this is the height so i will give it a name p and this is the height i will give it a name q so there is a triangle abc okay base b1 this is equal to segment bc which is 9 height h1 jo hai wo hai segment ap jiska value diya hai wo hai 5 in triangle d e f base b2 diya hua hai segment e f aur uska value hai 10 fir jo height diya hai h2 uska value diya hai segment d q and the value is 6 now what is the question this is the question the ratio of ye find out karna hai okay so let's do it so area of triangle abc it is is equal to half into b1 into h1 upon area of triangle d E F is also is equal to half into B two into H two. Abi half or half cancel. B one H one ki jagah mein likhunga actual uh, segment name. Baad mein uska actual value nine. टेन सिक्स फिर उसके बाद सिंपल मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन सो ये हो गया सो एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी अपॉन area of triangle def this is equal to 3 is to 4 problem solved now let's go and see the second problem here is the problem and the diagram so as with all the problems the first thing i will do is uh, write simply write down what is given triangle a b c base b1 is uh, segment ab okay and then uh, height h1 this is equal to segment bc and its value is 4 then in triangle okay a d b b2 is also ab okay and h2 is ad and its value is given as 8 now look here this is important this tells me b1 this is equal to b2 so now what we have to find we have to find this so i'm going to write it down 
area of triangle okay abc ratio area of triangle d e f again same thing okay now half half cancel and the second thing is b1 multiplied by h1 now instead of writing b2 i will again write now this is because b1 is is equal to b2 see here now we'll proceed further to so, abhi what is the next step next step is simple substitution so what is b1 b1 is ab segment into what is h1 it is bc upon same ab and h2 is ad now ab ab cancelled okay and this will give me bc upon ad the value of bc is 4 and what is the value of ad 8 so this will be 1 2 one upon 2 so this is the answer so let's write down this answer in a formal way so here i'm going to write answer area of triangle abc upon area of triangle def this is equal to 1 is to 2 problem is solved second problem over let's see what problem 3 is about so here is the problem and the diagram now to be very honest this was the toughest problem okay this problem confused me and uh, this problem uh, i took some time like i took almost 30 minutes uh, before i could figure out ke iska solution kya hai so why this happened i think i will first try to explain it because this uh, tells something very important about problem solving uh, technique to yahan par kya hua jaise hi maine ye problem ko dekha to kya hota hai usually पहले प्रॉब्लम हम रीड करते हैं फिर जो प्रॉब्लम है उसके बाद हम डायग्राम देखते हैं तो उसमें क्या होता है जो भी प्रॉब्लम में दिया हुआ है वो हम मैच करने की कोशिश करते हैं तो जैसे कि अभी यहाँ पर ये दिया हुआ है कि सेगमेंट पी एस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू सेगमेंट आर क्यू सो ये हुआ सेगमेंट पी एस ये हुआ सेगमेंट आर क्यू तो हम देखते कि हाँ ये परपेंडिकुलर इधर है ठीक है फिर दूसरा है कि ये सेगमेंट क्यू टी ओके इस परपेंडिकुलर टू सेगमेंट पी आर तो फिर मैंने लोकेट किया कि ये सेगमेंट क्यू टी है और ये सेगमेंट पी आर है और हाँ ये परपेंडिकुलर है फिर बाद में मैं देखा कि वैल्यूज लेंथ के वैल्यूज दिए हुए हैं तो जैसे कि सेगमेंट आर क्यू का वैल्यू सिक्स है सेगमेंट पी एस का वैल्यू सिक्स है सिक्स है और सेगमेंट पी आर का वैल्यू ट्वेल्व है और सेगमेंट टी क्यू का वैल्यू वो हमको फाइंड आउट करना है अब ये क्यू टी का वैल्यू कैसे फाइंड आउट करते हैं अभी इतना तो पता है कि इस प्रॉब्लम में मुझे रेशियो ऑफ एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल फिर ट्राइ उसका जो बेस है हाइट है उसको लेके मुझे ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व इतना मुझे पता है सो दैट मीन्स मुझे ये लगा कि दो ट्राइंगल्स को हमको कंसिडर करना है सो वॉट आई डिड आई कंसिडर टू ट्राइंगल्स तो मैं दिखा दो कौन से दो ट्रायंगल्स मैंने कंसीडर किए सबसे पहला मैंने ट्रायंगल जो कंसीडर किया वो ट्रायंगल पी आर एस ओके ट्रायंगल पी आर एस ये मैंने कंसीडर किया अब जैसे ही मैंने ये कंसीडर किया तो फिर उसका आता है बेस वन आता है सेगमेंट आर एस और हाइट वन आता है सेगमेंट पी एस अब सेगमेंट पी एस का जो वैल्यू है वो मुझे मालूम है सिक्स सेगमेंट आर एस का वैल्यू मुझे आधा मालूम है आधा नहीं मालूम है क्योंकि सेगमेंट आर एस जो है वो सेगमेंट आर क्यू प्लस सेगमेंट 
क्यू एस दोनों का कॉम्बिनेशन है सेगमेंट आर क्यू जो है उसका वैल्यू मुझे मालूम है सिक्स है लेकिन सेगमेंट ये जो क्यू एस है ठीक है इसका वैल्यू मुझे नहीं मालूम तो ये एक प्रॉब्लम आ गया दूसरा जो ट्राइंगल मैंने कंसिडर किया वो था ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर ठीक है अभी इसमें मैंने ले लिया बेस टू पी आर ओके और मैंने हाइट ले लिया हेच टू टी क्यू ओके अभी पी आर का वैल्यू मुझे मालूम है ये ट्वेल्व है अभी टी क्यू का वैल्यू मुझे नहीं मालूम क्योंकि ये एक्चुअली फाइंड आउट करना है तो अभी मुझे दो ट्राइंगल्स मिल गए जिसका मुझे रेशियो लेना है तो फिर मैंने लिखना शुरू कर दिया कि एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल पी आर एस अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर फिर उसका जो फार्मूला है वो मैं पूरा नहीं लिखूँगा यहाँ पर तो क्योंकि मैं एक्सप्लेन कर रहा हूँ कि कहाँ मैं गलत जा रहा था ओके अभी बी वन की जगह मुझे लिखना पड़ेगा ओके आर क्यू प्लस क्यू एस बराबर मल्टीप्लाइड और एच वन की जगह मुझे लिखना पड़ेगा पी एस ओके बाद में बी टू की जगह मैं लिखूँगा पी आर और एच टू की जगह मैं लिखूँगा टी क्यू अभी ये जो मैं लिख रहा हूँ ओके okay, ऐसे ही मैंने प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करना शुरू किया और अंदर से आवाज़ आ रहा था कि मैं कहीं गलत हूँ क्योंकि ये और कॉम्प्लिकेट होते जा रहा है मतलब मैं ऐसे ही करता गया आ, कोई भी दो ट्राइंगल्स लेकर उसका रेशियो निकाल कर ओके okay, वैल्यूज़ में सब्सटीट्यूट करके फिर आंसर निकालने की कोशिश कर रहा था और इट वॉज़ नॉट वर्किंग ऑलमोस्ट हाफ एन आवर आई स्पेंट ओके देन आई स्टॉप्ड देन आई स्टॉप्ड ओके and then i started thinking hey, i'm doing something seriously wrong this is not the way to solve this problem so so how do we solve okay to sabse pehle kya kiya jo bhi main abhi tak soch raha tha jo bhi mera line of thinking tha wo sab maine hata diya and let me start from scratch zero okay now what does that mean so what it means is instead of looking at the problem the way it is written what i need to do is first concentrate on the diagram so what i did is i try to understand the diagram first now the very first thing which i can see in this diagram is these two perpendicular lines or segments okay so let me consider this one first now this is segment q t and it is perpendicular to segment pr that's what i can see so that means if i make this particular triangle then i got my base and i got my height so that means consider triangle p q r now here my base one is pr okay its value is 6 and my height h1 is tq and its value is i don't know i need to find out okay so this is what i understood first now the second thing is i am looking at this perpendicular line okay now if you look at this perpendicular line okay it is resting on a ray it is resting on a ray okay so that means this perpendicular is a height of a triangle now this particular height can belong to two triangle one is this triangle which is a triangle p q s it can also belong to triangle p r s to triangle p r s and it can also belong to triangle pqr so this height can belong to th three triangles okay so if i look at pqs okay this is the base and i don't know its value i only know this value so forget this one this is not needed then i if i look at prs so that means this is the base okay i don't know its full value because i know like 
that this is six, but I don't know what is this. So forget it. But if I look at triangle PQR, okay, and if PS is the base, okay, whose value is six, I know that RQ is six because this is given in the problem. So that means for this triangle PQR, I again have base and the height. Okay, so base B2 is basically QR, segment QR and height is basically PS. So that means now I got my two triangles. This is triangle number one and this is triangle number two. Okay. So if you look closely, they both are same triangle. Okay, triangle PQR. And what has happened is, in the first PQR, we have taken one side as the base and then we got its height. And in the second PQR triangle, we have been given the value of another base. Okay, and its height also. So I think this is the property which I can use to solve the problem. So now let me start attacking the problem one more time. So now I will look at the diagram. So the mistake which I was making is I was looking at the text part first and then I was looking at the diagram. But what I really should have had done is first look at the diagram and then try to understand what is written here. So after doing this, I got a path through which I can solve this problem. So that's what I'm going to do now. So given, okay, in triangle PQR, my base B1 is, my base B1 is segment RQ. Now its value is given, six. And height H1 is segment PS. And its value is also given, which is 6. Again, in triangle PQ. Now again, in triangle, same triangle again, PQR, B2 is, is equal to segment PR. And its value is given, it's 12. Okay? And then height H2, which is segment QT. And its value is what we need to find out. This is the question. So you can see that we have essentially the same triangle. So isika we will take a ratio now. So area of triangle PQR upon area of triangle PQR. Now this is, is equal to half multiplied by B1 into H1 upon half multiplied by B2 into H2 which is gone, gone. Now instead of B1 I am going to write RQ. Okay, instead of H1 I am going to write PS. Instead of writing B2, PR and instead of writing QT, QT I will write it as QT only because that is what we need to find out. Now I will start replacing the value. So instead of RQ, I am going to write 6. Instead of PS, I am going to write 6. Instead of uh, B2, I am going, uh, instead of writing PR, instead of writing PR, I am going to write 12. And for QT, I'm going to write QT only and on the left hand side it's the same area of triangle PQR upon area of triangle PQR now here lies the now here lies the trick now both the triangles are the same triangle no so their area will be same so I can simply cancel it out so now what happens is 1 upon 1 is 6 
into 6 12 multiplied by segment QT now this whole thing I will take it on this side so now it will be okay 12 multiplied by QT multiplied by 1 upon 1 is equal to 6 multiplied by 6 now this is equal to 12 into QT is equal to 6 by 6 why is this because 1 upon 1 this is equal to 1 okay and the second thing is anything multiplied by 1 will give you the same number so now QT now I'm going to get this 12 here okay then I'm going to solve it so the answer is 3 upon 1 which is, is equal to 3 a upon 1 is equal to a this is the rule I always try to write the rule for any statement that I have uh, written finally okay segment QT value is 3 this is the answer so you can see here the I just changed my approach Sochne ka dhang mene khali badla and I was able to solve the problem three steps process first always uh, try to make a diagram second understand the diagram get whatever information uh, uh, you can get and the third thing is relate the diagram to the problems in English language and then start solving the problem so here is problem number four so let me enlarge this uh, diagram first okay here it is so now let me find out what are the triangles I can see here so I can see triangle ABC then I can see triangle uh, B D C then I can see triangle uh, B A D and then I can see triangle A C D okay then I can see a one quadrilateral which is A B C D and then I think there is one segment AP which is most probably perpendicular to segment BC I don't know okay but I feel because there is this uh, this sign is missing so I cannot say okay but I feel so this is what and then I can see this is line this is one line number one and this is line number two okay and I think that both these lines are parallel to each other okay but this is what I understood from the diagram now let me see what is the word part of the problem whether it is giving me some more information so here it is okay now the first thing is it is telling me that segment AP is perpendicular to BC yes so this is right so I'll try to make a there you go and the second thing is saying it is saying AD is parallel to BC yes so that means line 1 is indeed parallel to line 2 so this is also correct then it is telling me find area of triangle ABC which is this triangle and area of triangle BCD so area of triangle B, BCD okay this is the one I have written is BDC but it can be BCD also okay so this is the one okay so that means uh, I should not consider this triangle I should not consider this triangle for the time being and of course there is a quadrilateral okay it may or may not come into use so this is the data which I have right now now using this data I will go ahead and try to solve this problem so let's begin to solve the problem in triangle A B C okay my B1 is BC okay and H1 is AP that's because 
we have to find this okay now the second triangle is bcd so in triangle bcd now b2 is i can still take the same thing bc and h2 is now that's a question mark i don't have h2 for this triangle yeah for this triangle i don't have the height but if you look the height should come from point d so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop a perpendicular here okay right so i'm going to give it a name q so i can say now this h2 is d cube so i got this too so naturally my area of triangle abc upon area of triangle bcd will be is equal to half into b1 into h1 upon okay now this will be is equal to now you can see okay b1 and b2 are same so this b2 will become b1 so i can cancel it out here okay and it so now the final ratio will be h1 h2 it is is equal to h1 upon h2 now what is h1 h1 is a uh, ap right now what is uh, h2 it is dq now this line of thinking is right okay i think this is right so because the bases are uh, common so the ratio of the area of triangle is directly equal to the ratio of its height but now let us see uh if we can do some more investigation on this two heights so basically we have two heights here we have segment okay we have segment ap which is our height one and then we have segment d cube which i have drawn which was not given in the problem is h2 okay let us find out if there is any relationship between ap and d cube okay so now the other piece of information which uh, the problem is given is this ad is parallel to bc so that means these two lines okay they are parallel okay and ap is the height ap is the height okay in another words this segment ap is perpendicular to both the lines okay so naturally this one this particular line segment which we have drawn okay it is already at 90 degree to this particular line let me name it as line 2 okay so now i need to know whether this is also 90 degree i need to know this because once this is 90 degree then it means okay then it means that this then i can prove that this segment which is segment dq is equal to segment ab i can prove that both the heights are same so how do i do that it's uh, let me redraw the same diagram again and i will try to first prove that segment ap is is equal to segment dq so for this i will make that diagram again and proceed with the explanation and uh, let me draw this uh, segment one more time okay now this segment is at 90 degree and we know that this is also at 90 degree this dq is perpendicular to line 
DC. Let me now what I can do is I will extend this segment into a line. Okay, and I will extend this segment also into line. This segment also I will extend it into a line. Okay, so now I have this. This is line number three. This is line number four. Okay, and this is the transversal. Okay, and this are the two interior angles. So total of these two interior angle is 180 degree. Now this is the rule. Huh? If you have two distinct lines, and if there is a transversal, and if the sum of the interior angle is 180 degree, then line three is parallel to line four. That means my segment AP is parallel to segment DQ. Okay, this is the first thing. Now the second thing is, look here. If this is 90 degree, then this is also 90 degree. Why? Because line one and line two are already parallel to each other it is given in the book so when the two lines are parallel and if you look at the interior angle their interior angles total should be 180 degree so if this is 90 degree so the second one should be automatically be 90 degree and the same rule we can apply here is and we can get this angle also at 90 degree so now if you look at the quadrilateral Okay, if you look at the quadrilateral A, B, C, D, all corner angles are 90 degree. So such a quadrilateral is a rectangle to the minimum. So that means opposite sides are equal in length. So this means, okay, AP, length of AP is equal to length of DQ. Now this is important. Now we can use this one in our, so now we will use this property. We have proven that length of AP is equal to length of DQ. Now let's go back to the original problem. Now here, look at this DQ. So instead of DQ, I can now write AP upon AP because AP is equal to DQ in length. So now area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle BCD is, is equal to is basically 1 upon 1 so this is the answer so answer is basically 1 is to 1 and the problem is solved so basically here what uh, we understand is if there are two triangles and if their base are equal and their heights are equal then the area of both the triangles are equal the shape may be different but the areas will be same. This is what we learn from this problem. So here is problem number five. Basically, if I look at the problem and if I look at the diagram, okay, I can see uh, there are two perpendiculars made. So obviously we are de dealing with uh, two triangles here with two heights and two bases, okay. And then we have been asked to find ratio, okay, probably of all the possible triangles. So the first thing which I can see is there is a triangle PBC, okay. Now in triangle PBC, base B1, okay, base B1 is BC and height H1 is PQ. 
okay then i am having a second triangle which is triangle abc so b2 is is equal to again bc and height h2 this is equal to ad okay now if you look here okay now for this two triangle and look here so i can solve this problem right now so area of triangle pbc upon area of triangle abc is equal to half into b1 into h1 upon half into b2 into h2 which is is equal to half half cancel instead of writing b1 i will write the actual segment name okay instead of writing b2 again i will write the actual segment name now you can see bc bc will get cancel because same base so what we got is pq upon ad so this is for this so i think in the similar way i need to find out the ratio and keep doing the same thing three times for these three different ratios so this seems to be a very fairly simple problem where all you have to do is uh, write down the ratio of the triangles concerned write down the formula replace it with uh, the segment and after that whatever is the common segment either the base or height cancel it out and whatever is the remaining uh, segment that will give give us the ratio so in this way uh, i have attempted successfully all the five problems of problem set 1.1 i have also tried to explain the way i am thinking while trying to solve a problem because i believe uh, everybody goes through the same procedure so with this i'm going to finish this uh, video thank you